Well, the time we jump back into this shithole. Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Mario. The ta no, not the, not the thousand year doors. The reason why I said it's the thousand year doors is I've been watching um, Nico B, who's a, who's a big YouTuber I watch. I play the thousand year door. So that's, his, that's what he's doing on his channel. No, this is the Origami King. And uh, this is a much, much, much worse game. <laughs> and uh, last, the reason why I, it hasn't been so long is because uh, there was a lack of motivation. Actually, I'll explain that when I'm doing gameplay. I'll just balance the story for a little bit further. I know it's not just lack of YouTube motivation. There's there's a there's another reason towards it. Like a game motivation. I'll, I'll I'll get to it when we're in a free when we're just in a free roaming section exploring, not when there's actual story happening. Cause as soon as we get over here, but uh oh, what's that? Some kind of face head hat is stuck into that shrub. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm a toad. Wait, that's what a toad looks like? Wow, I was way off. <laughs> that's how my face is all folded up! Please, help me! Alright, I'll help you, toad. Get out of there. This is marginally better. I just need some timing out, I think. Hey, Mario, just pound me with your hammer. Oh, yes, that's helping. Oh, God, this is everything you could have wanted and more! I'm flat again. Thank you! I don't mean to be rude, Toad, but I have to ask, how did you end up so, how did your head end up so bent and wonkly? Oh, it's bad! Real bad! These horrible folded guys showed up and started just folding Toads, that's not right! Most of us got folded before we could even ask what was going on! Today if it's a fanatic against Toads, it's not fair! Toads have rights, this is Toad abuse! I just re-traumatized myself! <laughs> <laughs> I love the toads. They're so funny. Sounds like folded soldiers to me. Must be my brother's doing. I know we have a few other things on our plate, and, but we'll help any toads you find along the way, right, Mario? I heard that, and I'm holding you to that. Affirmative gesture, Mario. If you miss even one toad, I'm gonna come and fucking kill you! The more you have us you on, the more we're gonna give you. Good things will happen, I promise. Oh, we'll charge your modest fee for cheering. We should have mentioned that. Oh, that toad is a shrewd one. But it sounds like he'd be a big help to have him cheer us on in battle, don't you think? Let's save as many toads as we can and get them to root for us, Mario. Okay, so, if you didn't watch last time, firstly, why are you watching a part two before the part one? That's stupid. Secondly, we are doing a playthrough of Paper Mario the Origami King, where it's much like tolerated this game. And, uh... I want to point out something. If you knock down that area, the music goes away. So I'm not going to hit that tree, just so we actually have music happening. Thanks, Mario. I've been in there a long time. You know what tends to have right? Bathrooms! Good thing I wear a diaper! <laughs> anyway, um... I have one piece of chaos got evaded again. But this is someone that's not Bowser this time. This is, uh, King Ollie's doing. And he's turn turning the whole Mushroom Kingdom into origami. So we need to go back to Luigi's castle and set things straight, but mostly because we saw Luigi's castle. So we need to go back to Luigi. No, no. Yeah, we need to go back to where we found Luigi's castle and see if Luigi's still alive or not. Most likely he is knowing Luigi. But, um... Alright, the reason why it's been so long since I recorded this game wasn't that of uh, me recording motivation. It was, um, the fact that I actually had an episode of this, um... I tried to record an episode of this back when, um... Back when I recorded Detroit Become Human, and not the, um, not the, not the, uh, episode that went out yesterday when this is posted, uh, I'm talking about the, uh, episode before that. Uh, I had recorded an episode of this, uh, back when that episode of Detroit Become Human came out, but, uh, what happened was, I goofed up and I pressed, I, I didn't press stop recording, I pressed pause recording, but I never pressed the unpause recording button. So I played for, like, a half hour doing nothing tedious side stuff. For nothing, it wasn't even recorded, so I just felt unmotivated to play it again, knowing I'd have to replay all of that, all the section I did in the last video, just to get back to doing this one again. But uh, with Crash 4 on the horizons, I can't have like 20 series like just looming in the distance. I need, and I feel like both this game and uh, at least one ending of Detroit Become Human, maybe two, if I feel motivated enough. I can get done before Crash 4 comes out on October 2nd, which is really, really close, by the way. It's like, that Crash 4 release, Crash 4's release date is super close. Ah, uh, finally, 
and then it's a rest. Mario, look at you. You've gone from poop to pets. I'm so glad. I can't face all those holes and soldiers alone. You're all I've got. Stay rested, okay? When you see a bench, take a breath. Take a breath and heal up. I'll take a break, but breath, I mean breath works as well, honestly. Well, the reason that I'm playing over those um, speakers kind of reminds me of um, kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy uh, 15 music. The music when you're riding the chocobos. Also, SpongeBob. You can tell me you don't, you can't hear the chocobo theme in um, this in, just in this area. That's what I hear anyway. Alright, that's the only reason it actually took so long to um, record an episode of Origami King. It's also because it isn't a good game as well. There's that as well. And I know you're joining your basing, like, I'm, I'm only an hour into the game. How could it actually be that bad? Trust me, if, every, if this is what everyone's been saying, I can't be the only... If, well, everyone who's saying who is way further ahead of me in the game, it can't be because I'm like... Like, if it's because, um... Sorry. It's because, like... If everyone's been saying it, then... Like, who are further ahead of me, then that just has to be the case. It can't be because I'm, like, two hours in and the game and hasn't gotten exciting yet. I feel like it's something, I feel like I brought this up in another video, but, um, yeah, I can't remember when I said this, but I said this at some point, and I feel like it was in regards to this game, but I'm going to say it again, because I forget where I said it, and uh, it just forgets repeating, honestly, that, um, this is something um, the YouTuber Kai Dicarus said in his uh, Death Stranding video. He played the game for 10 hours and it didn't get interesting. Uh, Death Stranding he was talking about, but it kind of applies here. He's been playing for 10 hours and it didn't it didn't grab him. A game shouldn't take that long to grab you. And when he went to everyone on Twitter, they said, just give the game another chance. He's been playing for 10 hours. Chances are it's not going to get any better after 10 hours. And I feel like this game is kind of the same thing. I feel like people who are playing after gotten through the majority of the game it's not going to get any better, just suddenly. Oh, thank you! I don't know why I was trying to cook more firewood like this! I have plenty! Toad, you're, you're kind of a bit, um... You know what? No, you look fine. He's in for a rude awakening when he uses the mirror next. I was hoping for a helping hand and I got a helping hammer! You're just full of surprises! Lonely, right there, don't want to talk to. I think I'm an imaginary friend. She's actually pretty cool. Do I hear all about her? Oh, yeah, I guess you can actually get a hint from your real friend, whatever you want. So you want to understand. Oh, poor, poor Mario. So delusional. It is not to use his imagination. Can't tell if that's good or bad anymore. Can I help you? The toad who lives in this house isn't currently home right now. I've been gone for a kind of a long time, actually. something fishy about this one being empty. There's a toad in there, isn't there? Oh, well, there's a toad here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, this, this. I feel bad for this toad. I used to save me from that wood pile, but the creases are so deep. Will I go back to normal? Hey, toad. Love to see you. I surprised you, and you did come back to normal. There you go. Uh, that should answer your question for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, that is. Oops. Come on. Here's the thing, just like, I don't know how the series went on. Like, I know how it went on this. Like, um, bad game deviation. But why is it still here? I'm starting to feel like Intelligent Systems is just that company that doesn't listen to their fans. They do it with Fire Emblem and they're doing it here as well. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but... I doesn't say I hate Fire Emblem and I've been meaning to stream that, it's just I wanted to get Crash Tree out of the way before I go back to streaming Fire Emblem. So, trust me, I haven't lost interest in Fire Emblem. I've actually been playing it in my own time. 
I just want to finish the crash tree before I get back into streaming that properly. But, um... Ah, there we go. But, um... I just... Yeah, it's just like... I feel like there's just some things they really should have listened to and some things they really shouldn't have listened to and they just listened to the wrong things. It's a great game, don't get me wrong. It's a great game, but... They they made a they made quite a few questionable choices in Fire Emblem Treehouses, and this isn't a Treehouse stream, so I won't get into it. But um, just know they made some very questionable choices with that game. Just go watch my streams, and you'll understand. Fresh paper alert! Let's fold them up. We actually are going to get a new battle mechanic, though. Look, more puny little Goombas. This will be a piece of cake. Line them up and take them out of a quick jump attack. Wait, something's wrong. No matter which way you do, return the ring, that one Goomba won't fall in line. Oh, I was trying to read what the Toad said. Getting dizzy. Let's stop thinking about rotating and think about it this way. I think there's another way to move your enemies around. I'm ready to be entertained! Get on with it! Move it! Sliding, line dancing. Oh god damn it, get on with it! Well, I'm reverse sliding. You can rotate you can rotate these joints, but you can also slide panels in a row. First press LNR to switch between between rotating and sliding. There you go, and now the area has changed from from a ring to a row. Now you're ready to slide. Use the left stick to slide the row and then A to confirm. Okay, time to slide. Let's get these goombas lined up. Use the L use the left stick to slide the panels. Panel down and when you're done, press A. As it now they're all lined up. I take them out of a jump attack. Looks like rotating the rings won't do the trick in this wave. Let's try the sliding panel in the place again. There we go. That's that. I think I'm starting to get the quick count of this every time, every time I re go to replay a Mario RPG, I need to get reused to the timing again, because they're different in every game for some reason. That's across their series as well, not just like the Paper Mario timing is different to the Mario and Luigi timing. Of course that makes sense, but I feel like every Mario and Luigi game is different timings, and every Paper Mario game is different timings. We're saved! We were, what were those Goombas doing? Kidnapping us and, kidnapping us and taking us? Where were they taking Kidnapping us? Where were they taking us? Were they even Goombas? They were folded in a really off-putting way. We're taking DL on this one, guys. We got rescued by Mario, but you know what? Maybe we should put aside our differences for a while. Eh, we're on paper. Let's watch each other's backs. Alright, guys. Let's fold, let's fold the sacks. Move out. Last time my friend is really turning around kinds of paper folks into folded soldiers. It just made it feel like the whole world's gonna get overrun with them. Let's talk about some criticism I have with this game so far. Yes, I know it's only episode 2, but really, what else can I talk about in this game? So, um... I feel like the confetti throwing... It's a neat mechanic in concept. But it's terrible in execution. We get way more confetti than we know what to do with. It's easy to get it back. I feel like they should have made it much harder to get confetti. And I know it's a kid's game, but still, like, come on. Also, I feel like there should be, like... I don't know how to say this if I was coming off as mean, but I feel like there should be, like... Some kind of... I feel like there should be some kind of level-up system with the, um... With the, like, um... Fighting mechanics... With the fighting mechanics, and... I know what people are gonna say. Yes, there are great RPGs that don't have a level-up system. I completely understand that, but at the same time, this is still a game that, like... I know Color Smash was a little better, but still, this game is just like Sticker Star. It's a game that actively punishes you for getting into battle. And all they do is just throw coins at you. Unless the item shop has some absurdly high prices, there's no point to battling. And I highly doubt an item shop's gonna have absurd prices ranging in the... 
I, I can't see our coin count, but... Oh, I can't. I, it's just my Switch was in the way. Yeah, I doubt items are going to be in the 6,000 coin range. Like, do you guys see my point with that, at least? If you're going to include RPG battles, at least give us a reason to do them and not just run from them. Because honestly, if there's no point to fighting, I might just run from the fights just to get through this playthrough faster. Because that's what everyone's going to do. It doesn't look like anyone's here. Oh, look at that big hollow spot over there. Definitely my brother must have come by here. I'm sure he was up to no good. Hold on, there is someone here. I'm going to change for some years that creature way too big to be real. It's not like any origami I've ever seen before. What the heck is he doing to that house? It's eating it? Ew, it's eating the house. I can't imagine how yucky it must taste. These macho, papery things must be the source of the holes we've been seeing everywhere. Ugh. Wait, look at the thing on the back. That's the of my brother's face. That means my brother is the one who's powering it somehow. If that's the case, the seal could be some kind of weak point. Maybe if you hit the seal, it'll get weaker somehow. And then you can take it down. Good shot, it's working! Okay, so then what you really need to do is wait for it to charge at you, and then move out of the way, and then hit it with your hammer again. It's, a li it's very simple. These things really shouldn't cause you any on any much trouble if you're moving when you're supposed to. Did a trick! So the weak point on the paper monster soldier is my brother's seal. You should remember that. Now, what are we doing here? I'm all turned around after all that excitement. Oh, right, we were looking for the place where Peach's Castle used to be. Well, the gate's right over there. We may as well check it out. Keep that hammer ready in case we run into more of those huge monsters, okay? Also, uh, um, there's going to be a new series coming out today when this gets posted. And, uh, yeah, I'm basically going to have, like, one episode of Detroit Become Human and Paper Mario alternate daily. And then have an episode of this game just, uh, going up every day. They're going to be shorter videos because this game, that game's going to be smaller than, um, this one is and just faster pace. And also, it, it shouldn't get in the way of, like, me wanting to get these Let's Plays done before Crash 4 comes out because I'm already, like... A majority of the way through this through that game, and it's just been one recording session. I already have three episodes done. It should be long over before we have before I have to uh, start halting stuff for Crash Four. It, this this new that I'm bringing on, it, it really shouldn't take me that long because I know the majority of the game already, and it's just a fun short game I wanted to do just to kind of get more stuff up on the channel, honestly. Collectible number five. I still have no idea what this collectible looks for. Okay, still don't know how to get to that Goomba over there. Hmm. Hmm. And one problem I have with this game: the music is kind of quiet. <laughs> is there a settings? Uh, is there like a? Setting option I can use for that. No, doesn't seem like it. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like it. The music's really like oddly quiet. I can barely hear it, and I'm playing this on the Bob's. Oh, I'm playing this on the TV. I'm recording it. Point to be playing this not mode. Alright, 
trying to take out this guy. Ready? Oh, shit. I didn't hit the seal. There we go. That should do it. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like, like as soon as we're creeping up on these like giant beers, I feel like just like Metal Gear music should just start playing. I know that's a game over game. You have to admit that's what everyone knows. There's so many memes about it online. Snacks are snacks are running low. Morale even lower. Send help and snacks. I'm guessing we have to uh, liberate Toad Town before we can uh, continue the main story of this game. Makes sense. Makes sense in theory. Uh, no. Be able to make that jump, right? I just gotta be able to make that jump. There's no partners in this game, from what I from what I heard. So like, there's gotta be a way to make this jump somehow. If not, there's like a hidden block or something that I need to activate. I feel like we're just looting innocent toads right now. I don't feel like that's actually just what we're doing. We're just looting innocent toads with all their money. What? The bridge is broken? Now how are we gonna get to Beach Castle? Not like we can just jump on jump into the underground tube and travel through it somehow and pop out to the other side, can we? 
Thanks for spelling it out for everyone who's too brain dead to realize that in a Mario game. Who would have thought in a Mario game we have to go down a pipe? Well, thanks for that. I owe you one, but I can pay you back when we have now with information. If you're riding in a piece of castle, you can take the sewer over there. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, I forgot to mention that you need a special manhole to get down there. I think my friend's using it right now. Just look for a very shy guy like me, but not quite as handsome. Got it. So an ugly shy guy. Oh, that's just that's just not nice. One second, we're gonna go explore over here before we go to save you, shy guy. Ah, okay, that one surprised me. I forgot that was a, I forgot that one was a thing. Time to play this game a bit more seriously. There we go, that's how you do it. In here. Get back your paper mache monster. Oh, it's you. Here's a little something for the effort. Oh, I actually needed healing. Thank you. Oh, that surprised me, but... Yeah, we're just gonna play it safe. Stay here forever-ish. Good luck, Mario. You know the Toads do live here, right? They'll be coming back at some point, right? <laughs> just open, just open the, uh, the, the, the closet doors when they... Honey, why is there a bunch of goobers in our closet? how to do in um, when I first played the game, and I kind of feel stupid that it actually stumps me somehow. All you need to do is this, and you can get out the window, but the Uma's locking the door. That's all you needed to do in the first place. I feel kind of ashamed out of that, that stumped me a little bit. Yeah, safe turn now. Time, shy guy. Let's go. Back to the red building at the port. around in here forever. Oh, here we go. Oh, the hammer you're sure can shake things up. Did those boxes just move? Did it again. Keep doing it. Did it again. Ah, now he uses how to hold arms. <laughs> that spike is probably just like, what the hell did I smoke this morning? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, yep, no, no more crystal meth in the morning for me. Leave ah, no. battle.
Oh wow, so intimidating and challenging. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Look, see, it did one damage to me. It doesn't really matter. We have 8,360 coins. That's more than 2,000 more than when we came to this town. I fail to see how nobody sees a problem with this. Down here. Why does everything? Why does everyone like this place so much? Can you turn on the lights, Mario? Otherwise, it'll be dark all the way through this place. Oh. Okay, I do have to commend that uh, they, they, they put the underground theme from Mario, from uh, the original Mario, in here because um, I was about to say it would be cool if we go underground in the suit. I was gonna say it would be cool if we go underground in the suit and they play the music from the Mario game, from, like the Mario platform games. But I didn't think they'd do that, so I didn't say anything. But yeah, no, they did it. Okay, nice shot. Nice shot on that intelligence system. You got some. You did something right in this game. Look, someone's here. Who's there? Yes, I'm saved. Oh my, I'm going down here for this horrible pool of soldiers. Army is gonna show us up. I'm the greatest in Musei, jumping young and toad. Musei. The museum has a collection of objects, music, treasures, origami, and other wondrous items. We have even managed to acquire a legendary super Marino Fasty Vessel, believe it or not. Marino? We do hope you all visit very soon. Rope it, fight for you. Follow the organized crime we've seen of late. Goodbye! Who's saying Marino? I'm trying to remember which of those, which of those words instead of Toad's. I'm trying to remember those words instead of that Toad's face. I keep getting closer, but it's all I can focus on. Maybe the words are more important. We should go back in town and check out the Musee, whatever that is. This might actually be interesting, though. But the puzzle still piss easy. Okay, you guys seem pissed, so I gotta have to deal with you first. And look at that, they still die. Not a problem with this game. The enemies are too easy. I am one-shotting everything. It's not fun to one-shot everything. If you're gonna put in RPG battles, 
you should make them, I don't know, not one-sided. Like, that's just bad game design, honestly, if you're, if you're able to one-shot everything. It's funny to make happen, but you have to work for that. And here's the thing, me and my friend, back when we, uh, we were gonna play South Park on the channel, South Park's like a trip on the channel, but uh, we decided to keep to ourselves after OBS started ruining the recordings. Um, but we kept playing to ourselves because we just enjoy hanging out with each other, obviously we're best friends. And we made our new kid from the South Park game so overpowered that we like were one-shotting like bosses. It was insane, but we had to work hard, equip the right stuff at the right time to do that. That's what made it fun. It's not fun here. I didn't have to work for that. I feel like, oh, we're one-shotting everything because we're Mario, and Mario's... Because Mario is Mario. No, that's not how it works. Like, it might be how it works here, but, like, what's fun about that? I'm gonna take you guys out first. I wasn't even all perfect and I still killed them. If you're even on perfect, you shouldn't be able to kill them. Just do more damage. But no, for some reason Mario's attack is super high for some reason. And even with, I'm sorry, but I know we have the 1.5 multiplier, but uh, with that built in, it shouldn't be this. And when we don't have the multiplier, we still one-shot them. Come on. Why does everyone like this so much? Oh, sorry, right, I forgot to start. I didn't notice the light switch. Hey, there's a pipe up there. I wonder where it leads. I bet you can hardly, bet you can hardly contain yourself with seeing a pipe that, that inviting, huh? Oh no, it's all flooded. We can't get across with all the water. We need to get through. I 
now they got themselves in a line. Like, come on. This isn't very, like, interesting to play. Maybe the battles are that easy. See, I screwed up on the puzzle and it was still easy to do. Oh, magic circle! Did those follow the soldiers hide it? Oh, the water disappeared. Thanks for that. Thanks for that observation, Olivia. That whole cover. Great. Castle. That's the where it was pretty neat. I mean, so we shouldn't celebrate yet, just yes. We need to see if your poor brother's green hat is your poor brother's green hat is okay. And your brother too. Yeah, I like that the hat is our first priority to check, not Luigi himself. Hmm, what's that? The pile of junk come flying out of the castle when my when my brother's okay? How dangerous. Oh that's our cart. That's uh, Luigi's cart that we were riding that we were riding in the opening. That's pretty heavy. I don't think we'll be able to move it by ourselves. No, Luigi! The bird's hat! Hmm, someone wrote Luigi on the inside in very small letters. Is that something Luigi would do? Where could he be, Mario? Help me. Oh, it's almost like the hat's spoken. Luigi's voice asking me for help. I'm all folded up somewhere. Maybe in between dimensions. Someone help. There it is again. It almost sounds like he's between dimensions, but how could that be? Um. Poor Luigi. I'm sure he met a really bad fate. Thanks to my brother. Mario, I can't keep this out of the memory. I didn't know Luigi, but I miss him already. It'd be too bad. It'd be... Too bad he has to get he has to get his way. We can't let this go down. The hold and treasure you have forever, Luigi. I'm so close, bro. Get up on me. Are you walking away, Mario? Oh, you're not over there. So you're somewhere over on the other side. I don't want to forget about Luigi. I want to find him, but how do I do that? Do 
Don't forget about me. Are, are you walking away, Emma? Uh, are you? I'm trying to find you, Luigi. God damn it. Oh, maybe just to break up these pieces of uh, like rock. He'll be inside one. Oh, here we go. We can get up here and he's inside this pot, isn't he? Oh, he uses 10,000 full arms and he's going to hide that sky painting. I'm so close, bro. Confetti's out of operation. There we go. There he is. Am I saved? I feel weird. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. It's not like you're okay, Luigi, now that we have any doubt. My name's Olivia, by the way. We owe Mario a big time help for all big time for all this for all help. By the way, someone's been has been there. I've been wondering I wonder how you end up trapped between dimensions. I see a shy guy put me there, but not the regular shy guy, it's just like thick and edgy. Before I knew it, they had me pulled it up and tucked me in there before it saw me coming back late though. Awful for you, but at least you didn't get tired of the soldier. I have some news that you have to fight with, though. You have to fight without you. I asked about what happened to the whole castle. And where's the Princess Peach? I oh. thought you'd be happier with that. See, that has. Well, my brother kidnapped Peach in the castle. We're on the way to stop him right now, but it's a long way, and streamers are blocking us. Oh, I was going to look for Peach's castle. For the key to Peach's castle, and I got locked in, remember? Mario is always saving me. But I just wanted to do something nice for him for a change. I'm really happy to see my hat again, but I have to find the key. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, well, we definitely might need the key to make it to the castle, so let's spin our hopes on Luigi. Good luck, Luigi. See you later! I still wanted the hat. I'll take my hat back, though. I do need the hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we know he's okay, what should we do next? I mean, we're still ahead of the Peach's castle, but we should look around for clues first, right? So what though? What do we need to actually figure out? This is my question. What are we actually trying to figure out here? Oh, someone moved that pile of junk that was here. It was probably Luigi, wasn't it? I wish my brother was kind of yours. Right there, but I don't know if we're gonna make pro make a path of streamers. They're really long and strong for paper. It doesn't look like they're coming from different places. I have to go all over the world to unravel them. So if the red stream is going in this direction, it seems like following it will lead us where we need to go, doesn't it? Alright, let's follow the red streamer. Follow the YouTube red star. That sounds like somebody's nearby, kind of a jam. Like, Aria, what should we do? Help them, obviously. What are we gonna do? Just leave them stranded? I guess it wasn't clear. I don't like it in here. Help! Isn't that voice calling for help? Are you just gonna ignore it? What do you want me to do, Olivia? I'm literally trying everything I can think of. Alright, fight this guy. for a second there. Like, I'm not actually kidding. I'm not actually kidding. I almost was about to close my eyes and just, like, nod off for a second. And that's not me trying to make a joke. I was, like, I'm actually being serious here. Oh, we pull up on this side. Oh, it's a toad. Oh, well, thank you so much! I need to get back into my shop in Toad Town. I have to be away for more than a few minutes, you see. To be probably not working on my control issues. We still have lots of weapons and I have all sorts of useful things to stop by. 
Oh man, the bridge isn't seems to be all broken. How do I get like this? I'm supposed to go back to my shop. Oh, we rescued all the Toad Town Toads. Nice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you face it, thank you! I'm literally gonna spread over to my shop, but first, it's a free sample of my wares! Oh, there's a mushroom. Oh, I put the fryer. I had a zoom spreading in front of my shop because I wasn't there. I might go back and actually use that save. So I think this might be the best place to actually end off this episode. So yeah, I'm just gonna go head back to that um save block and save. This was okay to record, I guess. I can't say it was a lot of fun, it really wasn't. But still, if you made it all the way to the end, I don't know how you did it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. When we go to do more Paper Mario and Origami King, and we uh, follow the right streamer and see where it takes us, see where it uh, takes us. Okay, bye everyone.